Chinese investment to the U.S. has hit a record high in recent weeks, despite the recent trade and diplomatic tensions between the two countries. And as international trade grows more intertwined, a strong relationship between the two countries is becoming essential to the health of the global economy. Nina Maria Potts reports. China Center for International Economic The world's Exchanges two biggest economies need to be friends. That's the call from a group of leading economists as the presidents of China and the U.S. prepare to meet in early June. Even though we have a tendency to focus on the frictions and the mistrust and the other things that divide us at some very deep level, we don't have an interest in a failure. China's economy is expected to grow at an annual rate of 7.5 percent over the next 10 years. The U.S. may trail behind at 3 percent, but the two sides have a mutual interest in making sure each other's economy is whipped into shape. That really would be very tragic if it became a zero-sum game. To be sure, there are differences on both sides. But I think there is also a huge white space in the middle for the two sides to cooperate in their own national interest. For China, breakneck economic development has come at a cost. Income disparity, food insecurity and employment rates are major concerns, problems the U.S. is not immune from. Both countries want to establish a pattern of secure, high-quality, sustainable growth and employment for their people. China's middle-class group will rise to more than 600 million people in the next 10 years. That's double the U.S. population. Over the last 35 years, the global economy has become highly interdependent and extremely complex. And its rapid evolution means that it's outgrown current international structures and organizations, making us all vulnerable. So economists say U.S.-China trade cooperation is not just a bonus, but a precondition for global economic recovery and future economic growth. Nina Maria Potts, CCTV in Washington. All right, more on this, we're joined by Ralph Winnie. He's the director of Eurasia Business Coalition, China's program at the Eurasia Center. He was appointed by the Guangxi Investment Promotion Agency as business development representative for North America. Ralph, welcome back to the show. There's a big meeting coming up, President Xi, President yes. Obama. They're going to meet in Southern California. I have a feeling they're not going to be doing any surfing. They're going to be talking about some real issues yeah. that have uh, been the talk of the town, so to speak, by economists. Yes, that's correct. I think uh, the key is to uh, continue to develop mutual U.S.-China business, especially in terms of promoting small and medium-sized companies into China and helping uh, Chinese companies trying to come into the U.S., specifically California, now that Governor Brown has set up uh, the U.S. Uh, the China-California uh, Trade and Investment uh, Office. And that's already created a, about five uh, deals uh, with, within the last month. I mean, that's a huge change from where we were just 12 months ago when there was quite a bit of angry talk, right. uh, much of it coming from the U.S. side when it comes to in terms of politics. That's over with now. Right. So they're back to business. She's in office. Obama's got his second term. They're both lock and loaded. In terms of challenges they face, what, what, what is the greatest issue they have that's facing themselves? I think the greatest, greatest uh, challenge is uh, continuing to deal with domestic interests, especially in this country. While, multi, uh, while multinational companies are, are not going to put a lot of pressure on the Obama administration, you're going to see a lot of labor unions um, still very concerned about loss of manufacturing jobs uh, in the U.S. Do, do you think Politicians and yeah. Americans, you know, we, we talk about it, we read about it in the paper, and everyone has their editorial stance. Yeah. But do they view China as a economic friend, or do they view it as a fierce competitor, or is it both? I think it's both. I think uh, there are politicians that argue that Obama is operating from a position of weakness because his policies are, are one of st uh, stimulus and spending rather than of restraint. And of course, China becomes an important player in this because they have, they have purchased U.S. Treasury bonds over the years. The key is going to be to create avenues of communication and dialogue where you can uh, make it easier for Chinese companies to come over here and do business. And that's why I think Governor Brown's creation of this office uh, in California is going to be very, it's, very important. It, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be very blunt about this. It, it's ironic. In, in, yeah. On one hand, you have Washington, D.C. saying, hey, these Chinese companies are doing things that we don't like. Yeah. 
Yeah. On the other hand, you have states who are flying teams of people to Beijing right. and Shanghai and different cities saying, hey, please, please come and invest in our state. Why? Why, why well, is the, the national message and the state message so different? Because at the state level, they're, hurt, they're hurting for jobs and, uh, and investment. And they recognize that China has a tremendous amount of FDI that they could spread all over the world. And they would like it targeted to their particular state. Uh, the reason I'm asking is because if I'm in China, I own a yeah. Chinese company, I'm looking at the US. Yeah. And on one hand, you're saying, please come. And this other party says, hey, please don't come. Yeah. It's confusing to them, it's, is it not? It's very, very confusing, and that's uh, that's why the personal relationship that is developed when you send delegations over to China to meet with so potential companies. So this is working, this, these delegations back and forth. Yes, um, I think certainly uh, on the state level. Let's talk about the two Cs, China yeah. and just California. Okay. Um, I mean, look, it's no secret that China is probably the biggest trading partner of California by right. far. Um, how has that relation developed over the past couple of years? And perhaps is it possible that the Chinese trade with California in itself is enough to bring California out of this recession? Well, I think it's very important because since uh, April of this year, once the office was created, you have about five different uh, deals that have already been consummated. You have joined Scientific, which is investing $50 million to establish a pharmaceutical production plant in cooperation with Stazden Pharmaceutical, which will be located at the former Bayer Manufacturing Facility. You've also got um, Sacramento-based May Wong International and Emeryville-based New Logic, uh, 